complement of a number to a base is the value that is to be added to the number to make it equal to the base. Base is usually taken as 10 or any other nearest multiple of 10, 100, 1000 or so on. To calculate the complement of a number, subtract the number from the base. For example, 1000's complement of 863 is 1000 minus 863 equal to 137. In order to calculate complement of a number, we can use the following simple method known as all from 9 and last from 10. For instance, see this example. Here we have a number 78. To find its complement to the base 100, we have to find the difference between 100 and this number. In the number 78, if we subtract all digits from 9 and last from 10, we will get the complement. Let me show you how. 9 minus 7 is 2. 10 minus 8 is 2. So we get the complement of this number as 22. See another example. Here we will find 1000's complement of 987. 9 minus 9 is 0. 9 minus 8 is 1. And 10 minus 7 is 3. So we get 1000's complement of the number 987 as 13. Calculation of complement of a number is very useful for doing fast calculations of addition, subtraction and multiplication. Let's see another example. Here we have the number 46 and we are taking the base as 50. So the complement will be 50 minus 46 that is 4. Let's see another example. Here we have the number 68 and we are taking the base as 70. So the complement will be 70 minus 68 that is 2. Addition is considered as the simplest in math. Imagine adding 67 and 78. It is a bit difficult to solve this in head. We will learn here how to add these kind of numbers faster. We will make use of complement of numbers in this chapter. Let's see an example. Here we want to add two numbers 57 and 8. We will take the base as 10. Instead of adding 8 to 57, we will add 10 and subtract the complement of 8, that is 2, from the result. 57 plus 10 is 67. 67 minus 10's complement of 8, that is 2, gives us the answer as 65. It is easier to add 10 to any number. That's why when we have to add a number greater than 6, but smaller than 10 to any number, we can add 10 and subtract the complement of that number to do the calculation faster. Let's see another example. Here we want to add two numbers 36 and 9. As we learnt, we will add 10 to 36 to get 46. Then we will subtract 10's complement of 9 that is 1 from 46. So we get the answer as 45. Let's see another example. Here we want to add two numbers 78 and 7. We will take the base as 10. As we learnt, we will add 10 to 78 to get 88. Then we will subtract 10's complement of 7 that is 3 from 88. So we get the answer as 85. The rule here is to add 9, add 10 and subtract 1. To add 8, add 10 and subtract 2. To add 7, 
add 10 and subtract 3 to add 6 add 10 and subtract 4 now we will see some examples where we take the base as a multiple of 10 here we will add 46 and 48 to add 46 and 48 we will take the base as 50 46 plus 50 gives us 96 then we will subtract 50's complement of 48 from this 96 50's complement of 48 is 2 96 minus 2 gives us the answer as 94 let's see another example here we will add 36 and 59 to add 59 to 36 we will take the base as 60 36 plus 60 gives us 96 then we will subtract 60's complement of 59 from this 96 60's complement of 59 is 60 minus 59 that is 1 96 minus 1 gives us the answer as 95 let's see another example here we will add 67 and 38 we will take the base as 40 67 plus 40 gives us 107 then we will subtract 40's complement of 38 from this 107 40's complement of 38 is 40 minus 38 that is 2 107 minus 2 gives us the answer as 105 subtraction is considered as the process of finding the difference between two numbers imagine if you want to know the difference between 88 and 29 it will be difficult to solve this in head here we will learn how to solve problems like this faster and easily let's see an example here we want to know the difference of 72 and 7 here we will take the base as 10 instead of subtracting 7 from 72 we will subtract 10 we get 62 then we will add 10's complement of 7 to the result which is 3 so we get the answer as 65 the rules for subtraction are as follows to subtract 9 subtract 10 and add 1 to subtract 8 subtract 10 and add 2 to subtract 7 subtract 10 and add 3 to subtract 6 subtract 10 and add 4 if the number to be subtracted is less than 6 it is better to do the straight subtraction only let's see another example here we want to know the difference of 54 and 8 here we will take the base as 10 instead of subtracting 8 from 54 we will subtract 10 we get 44 then we will add 10's complement of 8 to the result which is 2 so we get the answer as 46 let's see another example here we want to know the difference of 87 and 9 here we will take the base as 10 instead of subtracting 9 from 87 we will subtract 10 we get 77 then we will add 10's complement of 9 to the result which is 1 so we get the answer as 78 let's see another example here we want to subtract 48 from 62 here we will take the base as 50 instead of subtracting 48 from 62 we will subtract 50 we get 12 then we will add 50's complement of 48 to the result which is 2 
So we get the answer as 14. Let's see another example. Here we want to subtract 67 from 95. Here we will take the base as 70. Instead of subtracting 67 from 95, we will subtract 70. We get 25. Then we will add 70's complement of 67 which is 3 to the result. So we get the answer as 28. Let's see another example. Here we will subtract 87 from 125. Here we will take the base as 90. Instead of subtracting 87 from 125, we will subtract 90. We get 35. Then we will add 90's complement of 87 which is 3 to the result. So we get the answer as 38. In simple words, multiplication is defined as repeated addition of a unit. 4 multiplied by 5 is 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 equal to 20. Here 5 is the unit. Let's see some examples. First, we will look at multiplication of a two-digit number with a single-digit number. Here, we want to multiply 29 with 3. First, we will multiply 9 and 3. The answer is 27. We will write the 7 below and carry forward the 2. Then, we will multiply 2 and 3. The answer is 6. Now we will add 6 with the 2. The answer is 8. Finally, we will join this 8 to the existing 7. The result is 87. So we get the final answer as 87. Let's see another example. Now we will multiply 56 with 8. First, Multiply 6 and 8. The answer is 48. Write the 8 below and carry forward the 4. Then multiply 5 and 8. The answer is 40. Now add the 4 with the 40. The answer is 44. Join this 44 to the existing 8. The result is 448. So we get the final answer as 448. Let's see another example. Now we will multiply 34 with 7. First multiply 4 and 7. We get 28. Write the 8 below and carry forward the 2. Then multiply 3 and 7. We get 21. Now add the 2 with the 21, we get 23. Join this 23 to the existing 8, the result is 238. So we get the final answer as 238. Now we will learn multiplication of numbers which are close to 100. Here we want to multiply 98 and 97. We will take the base as 100. Then we will find the difference of the base from the numbers. To find this, we will subtract the base from the numbers. 98 minus 100 is minus 2. 97 minus 100 is minus 3. Then we will do the cross addition. Since the differences are negative, we will subtract them from the numbers. That is, from the first number 98, we will subtract second number's difference. We will get 95. Or, from the second number 97, we will subtract the first number's difference. We will get 95 again. 
we will write this 95 below. Then we will multiply both the differences. Minus 2 multiplied by minus 3 we get 6. We will write this 6 below. The number of digits in the product of differences should be equal to the number of zeros in the base. Since the base is 100, we will add 1 0 before the 6 to make it 0 6. Now we will join both the numbers below. So we get the result as 9506. Let's see another example. Here we want to multiply 105 with 104. We will take the base as 100. Then we will find the differences of the base from the numbers. To find this, we will subtract the base from the numbers. 105 minus 100 is 5. 104 minus 100 is 4. Then we will do the cross addition. Since the differences are positive, we will add them to the numbers. That is, either we will add the first number 105 to the second number's difference or we will add the second number 104 to the first number's difference. In both the cases, we will get 109. We will write this 109 below. Then, we will multiply both the differences. 5 multiplied by 4 is 20. We will write this 20 below. Now we will join this with 109. So we get the result as 10,920. Let's see another example. Here we want to multiply 88 with 89. We will take the base as 100. Then we will find the differences of the base from the numbers. To find this, we will subtract the base from the numbers. 88 minus 100 is minus 12. 89 minus 100 is minus 11. Then we will do the cross addition. Since the differences are negative, we will subtract them from the numbers. That is, either from the first number 88, we will subtract the second number's difference or from the second number 89, we will subtract the first number's difference. In both the cases, we will get 77. We will write this 77 below. Then, we will multiply both the differences. 12 multiplied by 11, we get 132. We will write this below. The product of differences should be a two-digit number. So now, we will add the leftmost digit 1 to 77. The answer will be 78. Now, we will join this 78 with the remaining 32. So we get the result as 7832. Now we will learn multiplication of numbers which are close to 1000. Here we want to multiply 996 with 994. We will take the base as 1000. Then we will find the differences of the base from the numbers. To find this, we will subtract the base from the numbers. 996 minus 1000 is minus 4. 994 minus 1000 is minus 6. Then we will do the cross addition. Since the differences are negative, we will subtract them from the numbers. That is, from the first number 996, we will subtract the second number's difference. Or, from the second number 994, we will subtract the first number's difference. 
in both the cases we will get 990 we will write this 990 below then we will multiply both the differences minus 4 multiplied by minus 6 we get 24 we will write this 24 below the number of digits in the product of differences should be equal to the number of zeros in the base since the base is 1000 we will add 10 zero before the 24 to make it 0 to 4 now we will join this with 990 so we get the final result as 990,024 let's see another example here we want to multiply 1006 with 1008 we will take the base as 1000 then we will find the differences of the base from the numbers to find this we will subtract the base from the numbers 1006 minus 1000 is 6 1008 minus 1000 is 8 then we will do the cross addition since the differences are positive we will add them to the numbers that is either we will add the first number 1006 to the second numbers difference or we will add the second number 1008 to the first numbers difference in both the cases we will get 1014 we will write this 1014 below then we will find the product of differences 6 multiplied by 8 we get 48 we will write this 48 below the number of digits in the product of differences should be equal to the number of zeros in the base since the base is 1000 we will add 10 one before 48 to make it 048 now we will join this with 1014 so we get the final result as 1,014,048 let's see another example here we will multiply 989 with 995 we will take the base as 1000 then we will find the differences of the base from the numbers to find this we will subtract the base from the numbers 989 minus 1000 is minus 11 995 minus 1000 is minus 5 then we will do the cross addition since the differences are negative we will subtract them from the numbers that is from the first number 989 we will subtract the second numbers difference or from the second number 995 we will subtract the first numbers difference in both the cases we will get 984 we will write this 984 below then we will multiply both the differences minus 11 multiplied by minus 5 we get 55 we will write this 55 below the number of digits in the product of differences should be equal to the number of zeros in the base since the base is 1000 we will add 10 before 55 to make it 0, 5, 5. now we will join this with 984 so we get the final answer as 984,055 now we will learn multiplication by making use of complements when one number is above the base and the other number is below the base let's see an example here we will multiply 96 with 
106. We will take the base as 100. First, we will find the differences of the base from the numbers. To find this, we will subtract the base from the numbers. 96 minus 100 is minus 4. 106 minus 100 is 6. Then we will do the cross addition. That is, either we will add the first number 96 to the second number's difference or from the second number 106 we will subtract the first number's difference. In both the cases we will get 102. We will write this 102 below. Then we will multiply both the differences. Minus 4 multiplied by 6 we get minus 24. We will write this below. Since the product of differences is negative we should find 100's complement of 24. 100's complement of 24 is 76. Since the product of differences was negative, we will subtract 1 from the cross addition result. 102 minus 1 equal to 101. Now we will join this 101 with the existing 76. So we get the final result as 10,176. Let's see another example. Here we will multiply 95 with 103. We will take the base as 100. First we will find the differences of the base from the numbers. To find this we will subtract the base from the numbers. 95 minus 100 is minus 5. 103 minus 100 is 3. Then we will do the cross addition. That is either add the first number 95 to the second number's difference or from the second number 103 subtract the first number's difference. In both the cases we will get 98. We will write this 98 below. Then we will multiply both the differences. Minus 5 multiplied by minus 3 we get minus 15. We will write this below. Since the product of differences is negative we should find 100's complement of 15. 100's complement of 15 is 85. Since the product of differences was negative, we will subtract 1 from the cross addition result. 98 minus 1 equal to 97. Now we will join this 97 with the existing 85. So we get the final result as 9785. Let's see another example. Here we will multiply 1009 with 989. Here we will take the base as 1000. Then we will find out the differences of the base from the numbers. To find this we will subtract the base from the numbers. 1009 minus 1000 is 9. 989 minus 1000 is minus 11. Then we will do the cross addition. That is either from the first number we will subtract the second number's difference or we will add the second number with the first number's difference. In both the cases we will get 998. We will write this 998 below. Then we will multiply both the differences. 9 multiplied by minus 11 we get minus 99. We will write this below. Since the product of differences is negative we will find its complement. 1000's complement of 99 is 901. Since the product of differences obtained 
was negative we will subtract 1 from the cross addition result 998 minus 1 is 997 we will write this below now we will join both these values together to get the answer so we get the final answer as 997,901 now we will learn multiplication of numbers which are greater than 20 but less than 100 let's see an example here we want to multiply 24 with 26 we will take the base as 20 then we will find the difference of the base from the numbers to find this we will subtract the base from the numbers 24 minus 20 is 4 26 minus 20 is 6 then we will do the cross addition since the differences are positive we will add them to the numbers that is either we will add the first number 24 to the second numbers difference or we will add the second number 26 to the first numbers difference in both the cases we will get 30 we will write this 30 below then we will multiply both the differences 4 multiplied by 6 we get 24 we will write this below in this case to compute the answer we have to follow certain steps cross addition result into base by 10 we get 60 the product of differences should be a single digit so now we will add the leftmost number 2 in the product of differences to 60 we get 62 now we will join this 62 and 4 so we get the final result as 624 let's see another example here we want to multiply 54 with 58 we will take the base as 60 then we will find the differences of the base from the numbers to find this we will subtract the base from the numbers 54 minus 60 is minus 6 58 minus 60 is minus 2 then we will do the cross addition since the differences are negative we will subtract them from the numbers that is either from the first number 54 we will subtract the second numbers difference or from the second number 58 we will subtract the first numbers difference in both the cases we will get 52 we will write this 52 below then we will find the product of differences minus 6 multiplied by minus 2 we get 12 we will write this below in this case to compute the answer we have to follow certain steps cross addition result into base by 10 that is 312 the product of differences should be a single digit number so now we will add the leftmost number 1 to 312 we get 313 now we will join this 313 with the 2 so we get the final answer as 3132 here we will learn how to multiply any number with 9 let's see an example here we will multiply 76 and 9 step 1 subtract 8 that is 1 added to the first number from 76 step 2 find tens complement of the last digit 6 step 3 join both the values together to get the result so we get the answer as 684 let's see another example here we will multiply 112 with 9 step 1 subtract 12 that is 1 added to the first two digits from the number step 2 
find tens complement of the last digit. Step 3. Join both the values together to get the result. So we get the final answer as 1008. Here we will learn how to multiply any number with 99 faster. Let's see an example. Here we will multiply 125 with 99. Step 1. Subtract 2 that is 1 added to the first digit from 125. Step 2. Find 100's complement of 25. Step 3. Join both the values together to get the result. So we get the final answer as 12,375. Let's see another example. Here we will multiply 456 with 99. Step 1. Subtract 5 that is 1 added to the first digit from 456. Step 2. Find 100's complement of 56. Step 3. Join both the values together to get the result. So we get the final answer as 45144. We will first take up a case of dividing a number by a single digit number which is close to 10. Here we will divide 110 by 8. To simplify the division process, we will use the following form of writing the divisor and the dividend. Here we have separated off the last digit of the dividend 110 with a diagonal stroke. Then we will write tens complement of 8 below 8 which is 2. Then we will bring down the first digit 1 and multiply this with the complement. We get 2. We will write this underneath the next dividend digit. Then we will add up for the first column and write the sum below. 1 plus 2 equal to 3. This 3 is the next quotient digit. We will multiply this 3 by the complement. 3 multiplied by 2 we get 6. We will place this 6 below the last 0. Then we will add up the final column 0 plus 6 equal to 6. This is the remainder. So we get the answer as 110 divided by 8 is 13 remainder 6. Let's see another example. Here we will divide 100 by 8. Again, we will write the numbers in the following form. Tens complement of 8 is 2. We will write this 2 below the 8. We will bring down the first digit and multiply it with the complement. We get 2. We will write this 2 below the second digit 0. Then we will add up to the second column. 0 plus 2 equal to 2. This is the next quotient digit. Then we will multiply this 2 with the complement 2 we get 4. We will place this 4 below the last 0. Finally we will add up the final column for the remainder. 0 plus 4 is 4. So we get the quotient as 12 and remainder as 4. Now we will take up a case of dividing a number by a two digit number which is close to 100. Here we will divide 134 by 89. We will take the base as 100. Since the base is 100, we will leave two digits from the right for the remainder stroke. 100's complement of 89 is 11. We will write this 11 below 89. Then we will bring down the first digit 1 as before. Next we will multiply this 1 by the complement and write the product below the next two numbers in the dividend. 
1 multiplied by 11 is 11. Finally, we will add up for the remainder. 34 plus 11 is 45. So we get the quotient as 1 and remainder as 45. Let's see another example. Here we will divide 154 by 85. Again we will take the base as 100 and we will leave the last two digits from right for the remainder stroke. 100's complement of 85 is 15. We will write this below 85. Then we will bring down the first digit 1 and multiply this with the complement. We get 15. We will write this 15 below the next two digits in the dividend. Finally, we will add up the last column for the remainder. 54 plus 15 is 69. So we get the quotient as 1 and remainder as 69. Now we will take up a case of dividing a number by a 3 digit number close to 1000. Here we will divide 1275 by 879. Here we will take the base as 1000. Since the base is 1000, we will leave the last 3 digits in the dividend for the remainder stroke. Then we will write 1000's complement of 879 below it. Then as we did earlier, we will bring down the first digit 1 and multiply it with the complement. We get 121. We will write this below the next 3 digits in the dividend. Finally, we will add up the last column for the remainder. So we get the quotient as 1 and remainder as 396. Let's see another example. Here we will divide 1378 by 758. Again we will take the base as 1000. Since the base is 1000, we will leave the last 3 digits in the dividend for the remainder stroke. Then we will write 1000's complement of 758 below it. Then as we did earlier, we will bring down the first digit 1 and multiply it with the complement. We will write the product below the next 3 digits in the dividend. Finally, we will add up the last column to find the remainder. 378 plus 242 we get 620. So, we get the quotient as 1 and remainder as 620. In this chapter, we will learn how to calculate square of two digit numbers faster. Let's see an example. Here we will calculate the square of 37. First, we will split the numbers in A and B. Here we have A as 3 and B as 7. Then we will calculate square of B. Square of 7 is 49. We will take the 9 to the answer but carry forward the 4. Then we will calculate 2AB. 2AB here is 2 into 3 into 7 equal to 42. Then we will add the 4 which we carried forward to this 42. We get 46. We will take the 6 to the answer but carry forward the 4. Then we will calculate the square of A which is 3 in this case. Square of 3 is 9. We will add the 4 which we carried forward to this 9. We get 9 plus 4 equal to 13. We will take this 13 to the answer. So we get the final answer as 1000 
369. Let's see another example. Here we will find out the square of 58. In this case, we have A as 5 and B as 8. First, we will find out the square of B which is 8 in this case. Square of 8 is 64. We will take the 4 to the answer but carry forward the 6. Then we will calculate 2AB that is 2 into 5 into 8 we get 80. Then we will add the 6 which we carried forward to this 80. We get 80 plus 6 equal to 86. We will take the 6 to the answer but carry forward the 8. Next, we will calculate the square of A which is 5. Square of 5 is 25. We will add the 8 which we carried forward to this 25. We get 25 plus 8 equal to 33. We will take this 33 to the answer. So we get the final answer as 3000 364. Let's see another example. Here we will find out the square of the number 42. Again we will split the number as A and B. In this case we have A as 4 and B as 2. First we will find out the square of B which is 2. Square of 2 is 4. We will take this 4 to the answer. Then we will find out 2AB. That is 2 into 4 into 2 equal to 16. We will take the 6 to the answer but carry forward the 1. Then we will find out the square of A which is 4. Square of 4 is 16. We will add the 1 which we carried forward to this 16. We get 17. We will take this to the answer. So we get the final answer as 1764. In this chapter we will learn how to calculate cube of a two digit number faster. Let's see an example. Here we will find out the cube of 42. Again we will split the number in A and B. In this case we have A as 4 and B as 2. First we will calculate the cube of B which is 2. Cube of 2 is 8. We will take this to the answer. Then we will find out 3AB square. That is 3 into 4 into 2 square. We get 48. We will write the 8 below in the answer but carry forward the 4. Then we will find out 3A square B. That is 3 into 16 into 2. We get 96. We will add the 4 which we carried forward to this 96. We get 100. We will write the 0 below but carry forward the 10. Finally, we will find out A's cube. A in this case is 4. So, A cube is 64. We will add the 10 which we carried forward to this 64. So, we get 74. We will write this into the answer. So we get the answer as 74,088. Let's see another example. Here we will find out the cube of the number 23. Again we will split the number in A and B. Here we have A as 2 and B as 3. First we will find B cube. B cube here will be 27. We will write the 7 in the answer and carry forward the 2. 
then we will find out 3 AB square that is 3 into 2 into 9 we get 54 we will add the 2 which we carried forward to this 54 we get 56 we will write the 6 into the answer but carry forward the 5 then we will find out 3 a square b that is 3 into 4 into 3 we get 36 we will add the 5 which we carried forward to this 36 we get 41 we will write the 1 in the answer but carry the 4 finally we will find out a cube a in this case is 2 so a cube is 8 we will add the 4 which we carried forward to this 8 we get 12 we will write this 12 to the answer so we get the final answer as 12167 let's see another example here we will find out the cube of 33 both a and b in this case will be 3 first we will find out the cube of b which is 3 3 cube is 27 we will take the 7 to the answer and carry forward the 2 then we will find out 3 a b square that is 3 into 3 into 9 we get 81 we will add the 2 which we carried forward to this 81 we get 83 we will take the 3 to the answer but carry forward the 8 then we will find out 3 a square b that is 3 into 9 into 3 again we get 81 we will add the 8 which we carried forward to this 81 we get 89 we will take the 9 to the answer and carry forward the 8 finally we will find out a cube a in this case is 3 so a cube is 27 we will add the 8 which we carried forward to this 27 we get 35 we will take this 35 to the answer so we get the final answer as 35937